when we preach to sinners, we call them to the altar for salvation. If we preach a message of salvation and we don't call sinners, we don't give them an opportunity to act their faith on the message to receive salvation, then the seed can be picked up by the devil. We must make sure that the seed is truly sown in the heart. And the only proof that the seed of God's word is in your heart is your response. Your action of faith. Your response. Faith is the response of the human spirit to the word of God. And until you respond, you haven't heard. You haven't heard. When you hear it, it will produce faith. And faith is a response of the human spirit to God's word. So, when we preach to the sick, we instruct, rise up and walk. Otherwise, he'll remain there. The Bible says, as Paul preached at Lystra, he perceived that the man had faith to be healed. Now, had he gone home and left the man there, he never would have walked. But the man had faith to be healed. So the Bible says, Paul called out to the man, stand upright on your feet. And the Bible says the man leaped and walked. That was the change in his life. It is the very same thing when we preach on prosperity and finances. We have to give you a call to action. If you don't act, your situation will remain the same. If I preach to you about the goodness of God, it is not new to you. If I preach to you that God loves you and can prosper you, it does not come as a new thing to you. Anybody would think, if there is a God in heaven, he should be good. He should be helpful. So, no matter how I tell you that, you probably already have believed that. And because this is Christian television, you probably already believe all of that. But until I call you to act your faith, you'll be where you were before, like that lame man remaining there remember this in acts chapter 3 the bible tells us about a man who was lame from his mother's womb never walked from birth they carried him daily to the gate of the temple called beautiful at the very least jesus was at that place twice that the bible records and i believe many other times but on two occasions that the Bible refers to, it says Jesus came to that place where that man was and that the blind and the lame were healed by Jesus. The man was there. Why was he not healed? Then it came to pass that Peter and John came through this same way. And this time, Peter made a call to action he said to the man i don't have the money you want but what i have i give to you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth rise up and walk and then he lifted the man by the right hand and the bible says the man's ankle bones received strength and he leaping up stood and walked with them he was leaping and walking walked with them into the temple praising God your situation can change drastically if we didn't believe that we wouldn't come to you we're not trying to teach you how to use the world system to prosper. That's not our job. We're ministers of the gospel. We're ministers of the spirit. 
We are of them that bring water out of the rock. If we didn't believe that, we wouldn't come to you. We are of them that command with words, blind eyes to open up. And they do. We command wombs that have no uterus to receive seed. And they conceive and produce children. So we come to change your situation by the power and the spirit of God. That's why we're here. So the first thing is recognize the call to action. As we share the word of God, you're going to be prompted. Prompted to respond. And when you're prompted to respond, don't wait. Respond. Respond at that time. Don't wait.